Hey, this is Pilak. Welcome to our Fast Formula tutorial. In our last session, we introduced value set in Fast Formula. We created a value set that used the hard coded uh, uh, SQL no parameter. So we also called that from a formula without passing any parameter. In this session, we are going to change that SQL to add a one more parameter. This is the SQL we are going to use it. This parameter will be passed as a bind variable. And para the formula will pass this parameter from the input value. That is what we are going to look into that. Okay, now we get into that value set. We go to setup maintenance. We go to the search. We search the payroll value set. Go to payroll value set. And for our site, we start with TCS. We use the TCS person selection. Okay, we are selecting it. We are going to edit that. Okay. Now we are not going to change anything except this hard coded parameter. Now, how do we pass that value? There's a certain format you have to like, you know, define your parameters that says colon, curly bracket open, and curly bracket end. Within that, we say parameter, parameter dot, then the parameter name. In our case, I'm using a statement PRD. ID. You can put any name you like. Okay. I just putting the statement period ID. You can say period ID or statement underscore period underscore ID. You can use anything. The only condition is you have to use this name in the formula. Okay. I'm just copying it and keeping it somewhere so I know what I'm using it. Okay. I also keep this uh, value set name. It is there, but still I'm just copying it and keeping it, so I know that, so I, won't, I don't need to come back again. Okay, I'm saving, saving and closing it. Okay, we are done here. Now we are going to change the fast formula. search formula fast formula we are getting into the fast formula and CMP We are going to the CMP person selection. Now we are going to edit this fast formula. Okay, before editing it, last time I made a smaller mistake. I have noticed this input value name is wrong. It is period ID. It is not a statement period ID. Okay, just I correct that into period ID. ID. I'm okay with this part. Okay, I am also, no, this is what we are going to change it. Now, we are going to pass a parameter to that. Okay, how do we do that? You can pass the parameter directly into that. I preferred a way of doing it. The thing is, I want to, I always create a variable called parameter. 
then I print the variable, uh, variable, then I'll pass it. So I know that when I'm debugging, I know what variable passed it. So that is the style I follow, but it is up to you. You don't have to follow the same style. You can do what you like to do that. At the end of the day, you have to pass the parameter. Okay, now what I'm doing here is, I'm going to get that period ID into a variable, period, PRD ID. So since it is passed in, we are converting them into a character because this is as a number. So we are converting them into the parameter. Then I am printing the period ID. So I know what is that coming in. Okay. And I am printing that. You don't have to do conversion and all the stuff. You can do directly. I'll tell you, okay. Now that part is done. Now I'm saying that param, I'm creating one more variable. Okay. Now how do we do that? The parameter, when you are passing it, you are passing in a certain like, you know, what you call pattern. Okay. It starts with delimiter. The default delimiter is uh, pipe, but you can use any delimiter. So if you are using a different delimiter, then you pass that as a parameter, what kind of delimiter you are doing that you are to pass it. If you don't pass it, use that default. Try to use the default. Okay. Okay. Now then we are putting an equal and sign. That is how it is. Then you are telling that what is the parameter will be passed in. Okay, in our case, that is called statement period ID. That is what we are passing it. Okay, statement period ID. Statement period ID. Then equivalent to that. Okay, then the value. Okay, the, what is the value here? So in our case, it is coming as a period ID. That is what we are passing that. Okay. Now I'm going to print the parent. Okay. If you have more, then you are going to use a pipe again. Then like you put up more values. Okay, that we will look into that later. Okay, now I'm telling that it is a parameter. So I know what param is coming up. So now this one I'm going to pass it as a second parameter. Okay. I'm not sure the space is allowed here. I'm not sure, but just I'm moving it. So it like because it is you can try with space without space and also you can try that. Okay, here basically it is getting called, okay, calling the, what is that calling? Calling, that is okay, right, that is that, okay. You can put as much as message you want, okay. Okay, save. Well, it is combined. Now we are going to execute this into a statement. I'm not going to demo that part. We have done many times. Uh, let me jump into the log directory. Okay, let's get into that this completed, the process completed. So we look at the child process. We know that the formula is executed in the child process. Looking at that, okay. This time we are getting a very limited log. The reason is I executed for only one manager. I picked up the manager when you are passing the parameter. Okay, now it is entering into the person selection. We got the period ID, we printed the period ID. We also know the parameter. So that the result is the same. It is basically says process, yes, because 
the only thing what the difference between the class session this session is the parameters passed as a parameter the output is the same so all this is statement is saying like i said last time you can watch the i mean you can remove all the uh, statement when you can run it again if you are doing it then you probably get statement process is no so get that okay we are by this we are done this tutorial as usual i upload the code into my blog you can look at the blog for the code if you have any comments any suggestion any questions please put it in the comment i will definitely answer that and thank you